Let us see how we can assign ranks using different rank functions. If we have to assign ranks globally, we just need to specify order by. We don't need to worry too much about partition by if you want to assign ranks globally. If you have to assign ranks within a key, then we need to specify partition by and then order by. By default, order by will sort the data in ascending order. We can change the order by passing DESE after order by. We have three main functions to assign ranks, rank, dense rank and row number. We will see the difference between the three in a moment. Here is an example to assign sparse ranks using the table daily product revenue within each day based on revenue. We can use rank function to assign sparse ranks. Let me connect it to ITVST underscore retail database here and then let me run this and I will walk you through the syntax and semantics of rank function. We are saying t dot star to get all the attributes from daily product revenue. t is nothing but alias to daily product revenue. Then you just have to say rank. You don't need to specify column as part of the rank. You just have to say on which field you want to group the data and on which field you want to sort the data. In this case, I want to assign the ranks within each date based on the revenue. When we try to get ranks based on the revenue, typically the top performing product should get rank one and hence we have to sort the data in descending order. That's why we have DESE here. So the syntax is rank over in brackets, partition by the grouping key, which is nothing but order date, order by the field on which we want to sort the data, which is nothing but revenue. And we have to sort in descending. That's why we have to specify DESE here. And then I have provided alias as RNK for this. That's why you see RNK and you can see the ranks here. The product 1004, which is generating $5,599.72 revenue, which is highest revenue for 2013 July 25th, got rank 1. Here is another example to assign ranks using employees dataset within each department. We can also use other functions such as dense rank and row number to assign ranks. In this case, we'll be using all the three functions in tandem to review the output and understand the differences between the three functions. Let's attach to ITVST HR database using use ITVST HR. And this is how the query will look like. You can see the employee ID, department ID, salary, then rank, then dense rank, then row number. This is how you should be able to use these functions to assign ranks based upon a criteria within each partition. So in this case, the criteria is nothing but salary to assign ranks within each department. Now this will actually display 10 records. I want to review more than 10 records and hence I want to run this code snippet which is based on Scala. Let's run this and uh, then we should be able to review the output. It will just take a moment once the output uh, comes up then we can actually go to the output. So with respect to department ID null there is only one employee. His ID is 178. He is making $7,000 as salary and you can see that rank is 1 dense rank is 1 and row number is 1 for this employee ID. With respect to department ID 10, there is only one employee 200. He is making $4,400 salary. Same is the case with him. All rank, dense rank and row number is 1. With respect to department ID 20, there are two employees. Within department ID 20, we only have unique records, 13,000 and 6,000. Based on the salary, employee ID 201 got rank as 1, dense rank as 1 and row number as 1. The employee ID 202 got rank as 2, dense rank as 2, and row number as 2. With respect to 30, even though there are 6 records, all salaries for these 6 records are different. Or all the salaries are unique within department 30. And you can see that ranks are as expected. Whether you use rank or dense rank or row number, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 based upon the salary. The highest salaried employee is 114 and he got rank 1. The lowest salaried employee is 119 and he got rank 6 whether it is rank or dense rank or row number. Now with respect to department ID 50, if you scroll down to these two records, you can see that there are two employees who, who are making $3,600 as salary, employee ID 137 and 189. With respect to rank, both of them got 11 as rank. With respect to dense rank, both of them got 11. However, with respect to row number, the employee ID 137 got 11 and employee ID 189 got 12, which means it is not ranking anymore. So if you have duplicates in the field based on which we are trying to assign ranks, then we should not be using row number. When it comes to row number, this time we, we got 11 assigned to 137 and 12 assigned to 189. In the next run, it can be 
11 assigned to 189 and 12 assigned to 137. In each and every run, the ranks might change or the row numbers that are assigned might change. For that purpose, if you have duplicates in the field based on which we are trying to assign ranks, we should not be using row number in the pursuit of assigning ranks. Either we have to use rank or dense rank. Now with respect to the difference between rank and dense rank, when it comes to rank, if you have duplicates like this, in this case we have two employees who got 11 as rank. As we have two employees, one rank will be skipped while assigning the next rank. You can see that 12 is skipped and we got 13 with the rank. However, with the dense rank, the next rank is not skipped. The next rank is nothing but 12 itself. Now, if you scroll down further, you can see that again, there are two employees who are making the same amount of salary, employee ID 133 and 129. You can see row number 16 is assigned to 133 and 15 is assigned to 129. This is not guaranteed in each and every run. With respect to rank, we got 15. With respect to dense rank, we got 14. However, the next rank is skipped and got to 17 with respect to rank. With dense rank, the next rank is not skipped. Now, we have four employees who are making same amount of salary, 125, 180, 138, and 194. With respect to rank, all of them got 17. However, three ranks are skipped and the next rank is 21. Whereas with dense rank, the next rank is 16 itself. So that is the main difference between rank and dense rank. As the ranks are skipped, this is called as sparse rank. Sparse means more spread or more number of unique values, whereas dense means less spread. So in this case, uh, we are not skipping any ranks. We are just incrementing by one irrespective of number of employees with the same rank. With respect to ranking, one of the common use cases is get employees who are making top 10 salaries. So if you are trying to get all the employees who are making top 10 salaries, then dense rank is the most appropriate function, not rank. There might be 50 different employees who are making top 10 salaries. All the employee details will be returned if you use dense rank. With rank, you might get 10 or close to 10. You might not get all the employees. For example, let's assume that from 1 to 8, all are unique. With 9, let's assume that there are 4. And then let's say we have 10 with 10 rank. Or there might be 10 employees who are making top 10th salary. If you use rank, you will only get up to 9. You will not be getting those 10 employees who are making the same amount of salary. You will end up getting only 12 records. Whereas with dense rank, you will be getting all 22 records. In this case, I told first 8 are unique. Then uh, we have 4 employees making same amount of salary. Then we have 10 employees who are making same amount of salary. So you'll be getting only 12 records if we use rank. Whereas we'll be getting 22 records if you are using dense rank. So in use cases such as get all the employees who are making top 10 salaries, we should be using dense rank, not rank. So these are the some subtle differences between rank and dense rank. With respect to row number, we should not be using it to assign ranks in those scenarios where there might be duplicates in the field based on which we are trying to assign the ranks. Let's also see an example with respect to global rank without partition by clause. In this case, I'm just running this query to actually get the employees order by salary limit 10. Then we will see an example about getting the ranks assigned globally. So the major difference with respect to ranks within each group versus ranks assigned globally is that we don't need to specify partition by clause as part of the over clause. You can directly say rank over order by whatever field you want to use to sort the data, then descending if you want to sort the data in descending order and you are good to go. This will take care of getting us the global ranking from our employees table. And you can see that the highest paid employee is 100 with 24,000 as his salary and his rank is one. There are two employees who are making $17,000 as salary and both of them are assigned rank two. As we are using dense rank, it is not skipping any rank. It is directly going to third rank and it is assigned to employee ID 145 who is making $14,000 as revenue, sorry, as salary. Now let's recap the difference between rank, dense rank and row number. We can use either of the functions to generate ranks when there are no duplicates in the column based on which ranks are assigned. 
When the column based on which ranks are assigned have duplicates, then row number should not be used as it generates unique number for each record within the partition. For those duplicate values, the row number need not be same across multiple runs. However, you can ensure that we get the same values by tweaking little bit as part of the order by clause. On top of order by salary DESC, you can pick some unique field within the dataset. In this case, it can be employee ID. And if you use this approach, the side effect of using row number where the row number might change in each run can be addressed. However, this is not the solution for the ranking, but in some cases, we just want to assign some unique number within each partition. This is how you can take care uh, by adding the unique field as part of the order by after the sorting criteria, which is nothing but salary descending. So in this case, if we run this query multiple times, we will get the row numbers same for the same data set. Otherwise, the row number might change in each run based upon the number of times the value is repeated. So once again, I am reiterating, rank will skip the ranks in between if multiple people get the same rank, while dense rank will not skip the ranks based upon the number of times the value is repeated. You just get the next number assigned if you use dense rank.